Hey guys, today I'm going to flip through my 2020 bullet journal and show y'all some of my favorite spreads from the year. So my first spread in every bullet journal is always a quote page. So here's the simple quote page I did in my 2020 journal. This was my 2020 cover page. I just drew a bunch of bullet journal supplies and then wrote 2020 in the middle. And then on this one, I had my word of the year, which was create. And then on the other side, I had my year at a glance. I love how this year at a glance turned out. I used mild liners pretty much for my whole setup for 2020. And then I have my future log, which if you saw my 2021 setup, you saw that I used the same layout this year. I did it on both pages. On the second spread, for whatever reason, I didn't highlight the weekends. I probably should have done that. I really like the way that it looks better and it's just a little bit more functional. And then now on to my January cover page. So I had just gotten a bunch of gold pins for Christmas that I really wanted to use. So I did like a gold theme for January. I put some of these little fireworks on my cover page and then the rest I just had a whole bunch of gold highlights like on my monthly spread and in my weekly spreads and everything. For my February theme last year, I just did a generic Valentine's Day theme. I don't think I'd actually done a Valentine's Day theme before because I always thought, oh, that's too basic, but it ended up being really cute. And instead of doing a quote page, I drew some of these little conversation hearts. My March theme was probably one of my favorite cover pages this year. I was inspired by my gold wall grid that I have above my desk in my office. And I just did like a little March calendar, put some Polaroids on it. And then my March monthly spread really had nothing to do with my cover page, but I kept the same color scheme. And then here's a few weekly spreads to show y'all. So March was obviously when everything started going crazy. I think it was the last two weeks of March was when our lockdown started where I am. Um, so my weekly spread started to get a little bit different from then on, but I got some cute ones before everything really went south. So here was my first quarantine spread. I made a to-do list of all these fun things that I wanted to do at the beginning of quarantine, not realizing how long it was gonna last. Um, but I kind of like looking back at this, I put, you know, what I listened to, what I watched on TV, what I ate, what I ordered online. So it'll be interesting to look back on over the years. My April theme was books. So for my cover page, I did this little flat lay with a book and a laptop and a coffee mug. And then in my monthly spread, you can see the whole month of April was canceled. No work, no nothing. I did have a birthday in April though. So that was interesting. Okay, so I'm probably going to say this about a lot of the themes, but I think May might have been one of my favorites. This little RV was so fun to draw. I love how it turned out. It's probably one of the cutest things I've ever done. June and July were both pretty similar themes. I just started going back to work. I didn't really have the energy to come up with a super creative theme, so I stuck with tried and true and did a whole bunch of florals and leaves 
and I really like the way that it turned out. I think filling the whole cover page of June was a different thing than I'd done before. And then to make things a little bit different for July, I just did more red, white, and blue colors for the florals. So I'll go ahead and finish flipping through those. Okay, so this spread, if you can even really call it a spread, is where I swatched all my Acrylograph pens when I first got them. I was so excited to use them. I wanted them to be in my real bullet journal. And then on the other side, I did my little quote page for the 4th of July. And of course, for August, I had to use my new Acrylograph pens. I had just gotten them. So I did these cute little Polaroids. And then on the other side, I did my quote inside of a floral wreath. Every year whenever September rolls around, I am ready for fall, even if it's still 90 degrees outside. So I did a fall theme for September. The quote page was actually a fall print that I sold on my shop for a little bit. Maybe it'll come back next year, I don't know. But on the other side, I did all these little fall leaves surrounding September. I think I called my October theme witchy vibes, but I drew this little shelf with a bunch of spell books and potions and a crystal ball. And then for my monthly spread, I drew a witch's hat and a broom and just all the things that a witch would use on a daily basis. For November, I wanted to do one more fall theme. So I kind of did like a pumpkin spice theme, but just overall cozy fall vibes. So I drew a pumpkin spice latte, a sweater, and a pumpkin, of course. I look forward to making a December spread every year. It's always going to be a Christmas theme but I like to try to make it something I haven't done before. So this year I just did a whole bunch of ornaments and I used my Acrylograph pens to do that. And then I included a whole bunch of craft gift tags to make my headings and then some cute washi tape. This spread was inspired by Kelsey Doodles on Instagram. I'll have her Instagram linked in the description box. I really don't love the way that my version came out. So check hers out. It's way cuter. Um, but I do love this spread. I just listed 20 good things that happened in 2020 because it seems like nothing good happened. It was the worst year ever. But really when you look at it, you can find good things that happen. So some of my big things was starting my stationery shop. Um, I became a Tombow brand ambassador. That's a new one in December. So you'll be seeing some things with that pretty soon. Of course, I restarted my YouTube channel. You know that if you're watching this video, I hit some pretty big milestones on Instagram and my blog. I got a cricket this year, and then everybody's favorite thing from 2020, Animal Crossing, of course. All right, we finally made it to my last spread of 2020. I did this spread on New Year's Day. It was just going to be for fun, way to self-reflect. I wasn't planning on sharing it, but I love the way that it turned out. 
I just used two pieces of craft paper to try to make it look like a cork board and then I filled it in with some highlights from the year. So you'll see up here, I put in a whole little section about Ray's daily page. I put in some milestones that I met on my Instagram, my blog, my shop, just some good things that have happened. I think that was a really big part of 2020 for me. I also wrote in a few of my favorite movies and TV shows that I watched this year. And the pins that I used for all of this, the white is just the Sakura Jelly Roll pen in white. And then the blue is an Archer and Olive acrylic graph pen. I taped in some pieces of graph paper and on those I wrote some of my best purchases from 2020 because apparently 2020 was the year to just buy a whole bunch of expensive things for myself because there was nothing else to do don't judge me you know you did it too and of course i had to include part of my spotify wrapped in here i just put in my top five artists because i feel like that really shows you a lot about your year even though my top artist has been the same for like four years now it's always fun to look back on and see what i was listening to at a certain point in my life and then to finish the spread i pasted in a picture of me and my dog and then the stars hollow winter carnival sticker is available in my shop i just thought it would look cute like a little flag hanging on a cork board and that is it for my 2020 bullet journal. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite spread was and I will see you guys soon.